Ah, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you... between the tuna fish and the chicken. Can you drive to this one? You have the address? It's the alley off the of lease on between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, Phelps. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah. It means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You no, know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, folks. Brothers, Pinker. The cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. Lacerations on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. Kiss the blood, BD. Another wedding ring torn from the finger. No skin under the fingernails. Only 21 years old. Why the library card? Did he want us to find it? The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangled, battered. Yeah, dead. yeah, yeah. We know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women. All murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. Can we discuss this later? Antonia. Huh, same as the library card. I think I see a body. Clear this area immediately. This is a secure area. You all need to leave. It's a cut from the newspapers. You gotta have it. Too slow, Rusty. Hold on, I'm coming. Double time, Rusty. I'm busy here, Phelps. Galloway, need you. That's 
got to be a code or a cipher. I swear. This is a crime scene. All of you move along. Show's over. Keep moving, all of you. Keep looking, Phelps. We get enough and we can start retracing the killer's steps. Did you read about the woman who stabbed her husband and pushed him in front of the car? That's the cop that caught her. What now? Is all of this meant to be taking us? He clearly wants us to find these things. He's left them for us. There you go, Phelps. You got a new M.O. I told you it wasn't like that. Or he might just be getting more confident. Enameled and gold-plated. This was precious to her. Once are identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. Rusty. LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lafente, the owner of this boarding house. 
Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Wipe your feet as you come in, detectives. It's this one. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. What are we waiting for? Antonia was so innocent, detective. Catch this. Galloway, I need you. Yeah, yeah, as soon as I'm finished. Will you look at that? Someone's turned the place over. Okay, we have an address. A smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. You know how I feel about windows, Phelps. Someone broke in using this thing instead of a crowbar. I wonder where it was taken from. The charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. Let's go talk to her. Double time, Rusty. Hold on, I'm coming. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. You've had a break-in? No. That can't be true. The window's broken. The room's been tossed. You seem like the type of landlady who notices everything that happens under her roof. What gives? Don't take that tone of voice with me, young man. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. Did she ever bring anyone else home? No, she did not. What kind of place do you think I'm running here? What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. Tell me the truth. You know where she went and why she went there. You best keep your attitude under control, young man. You have some proof of what you're saying? Sorry. My mistake. Come on, Mrs. Lepenti. You must have some idea. Maybe a movie? Maybe church. She was a very religious girl. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. We didn't find any jewelry upstairs. You haven't pocketed any evidence, have you? That's outrageous. Are you accusing me of theft? We're hunting a killer, madam. I would have expected a little more cooperation. 
I've said it right from the start. We should come down hard on the husband. Let's check his place out. You're behind the wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? Is any of the cop they've been talking about? What another combination? Think there's anything to the divorce angle? I've been through three. No big deal. After a while, you just numb yourself to the experience. But Angel, he's a young Latino man. It would hurt his sense of who he is. He'd see himself as a failure, a woman taking control over his life. Then she fronts him and he snaps. Works for me. That makes Angel a killer as well as a piece of shit. Aldonado is in apartment 304. Galloway, I need you. Keep your shirt on, I'm coming. Too slow, Rusty. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker, you're under arrest. Stay back, or I'll have to put you down. Damn. They got some decent shots in there. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I could kill my own wife? We should get the whole place going over, then talk to the neighbors. Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. Just picked fruit market. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. This will take some explaining. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of the neighbor's movement. Got no alibi, he's toast. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I work nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. No good. Nobody here. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. 
Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here, and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss... Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. Sorry about that. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. Is that all you needed, detective? Haven't we talked enough already? I know nothing more about their business. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? Car 11K, car 11K, come in. We go to Washington now with national news from... Car 11K, car 11K, come in. KGPL, 11 King, over. Levin K and Rao. The committee is seeking to determine if Red Party members have reached the screen with subversive propaganda. Mr. Thomas takes an impartial stand in his opening talk. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. Letters? Brown and Hansen are giving me our chance from him. Now we sent another. I really hate this fuck. This Black Dahlia guy. Seen the body? Fucking crazy. The captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. Look, that's the latest thing. This guy's got a screw loose. Mouthpiece tore strips off me at the grand jury. Case got thrown out. Now the DA wants my head. Jesus H. Christ! Why don't you go polish your war medal? And leave me alone. The early bird gets the worm. Double time, Rusty. I'm busy here, Phelps. Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. His information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all those fares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and type from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. Upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. 
That's why we called you in. You think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what has it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We had the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Any ideas? Are you ready? I'm gonna let this son of a bitch Maldonado have it. Let's get in there. Did you know Mr. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. So if you didn't kill your wife, who did? You better come up with something, Angel. This doesn't look good. Fuck you. I love my wife. You're good, kid. You murder your wife and you just sit there as cool as a cucumber. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. You didn't want anyone else to have her. You didn't like the idea of other men fucking your wife and slipping it to her. The idea that she might like it. Vete tomar por culo! Easy there, angel boy. Ease it back a notch. When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. Looks like somebody broke into her room and stole her things there, too. Why'd you do it, angel? What the hell are you talking about? I was home with Hippolito. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. We're typing a blood angel. It won't look good if it matches your wife. As God is my witness, I didn't kill her! Keep it to yourself, kid. Let it eat away at you like poison. You're going back into a cell. We'll be waiting when you're ready to spill your guts. Are you taking my wife's murder seriously? Help me out. Back to Angel's joint, Phelps. I can guarantee we can make him cop to the whole thing. <laughs> You know the way. You can drive. Fine. Where are we headed? Bag was left just up there, overlooking the market. Could have come here from the start, saved ourselves a day's legwork. If you were twice as smart, you'd still be stupid. How did you get here? Did someone leave your cage open? I just 
just don't know how to dance to bebop. LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. And she seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. I think she came in here to call a cab. Even though she was drunk, she was reluctant to do it. She just wanted the phone. You had to push it further. What are you talking about? How can you make up these lies about me? Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Something bad happened to her, Glenn. And so far, we have her husband as a suspect, and you. Give us something that will make us go away. Me? You think it was me? Do I look like a violent man? Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. someone who's already dead. It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. Must have seen it during the war. This fruit stall punk gets about 10 seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clip! Damn it, get after him, Cole. I'll try to shoot out his tire. Wish me luck. Hit it. Clean this asshole off the road. Else, you gotta get me closer. You should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. It's strange that he keep a trail of blood right back to his own mushroom. Maybe he wanted to be cut. A lot of them do. Hit 
Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. I'm trying to shoot out his tire. Wish me luck. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Sick man, Clem. You need help. Now, lads, what am I to do with you? I give you a perfectly good murder. A case any homicide man would be happy with. An affront to our way of life and our Californian dream, and a chance to deliver some retribution. Are you not believers, lads? Homicide men are the right hand of God. You need to back out of here slowly and take a long, hard look at yourselves and your methods. Ask yourself what you are prepared to do to put these creatures behind bars. It's the streets for the two of you until I can find some forgiveness for the foppish behavior you've been exhibiting. <laughs> 